Power Rankings Cavaliers, Rockets Can't Be Stopped. The Cleveland Cavaliers have the best record in the NBA since November 11, 1801. LeBron James has recorded a triple double in four of his last five games, and All Star point guard Isaiah Thomas could make his season debut by the turn of the new year. Oh, and the Cavs are now only one and one half games behind the Boston Celtics for first place in the East. With Christmas Day nearing and the early season oddities a thing of the past, here's how we view the league's current power structure. Voters, listed at the bottom of this page, include NBA reporters from across the USA Today network. 1. Houston Rockets, 24-4, last week, won the Rockets, who have won 13 consecutive games and still haven't lost with Chris Paul in the lineup, are on pace to become the third team in NBA history to win 70 games. 2. Golden State Warriors, 23-6, last week, Two speaking of pace, the Warriors, winners of eight in a row, are on track to win 65 games for the fourth consecutive season. 3. Cleveland Cavaliers, 23-8, last week, 4 Kyle Korver leads all bench players in overall plus-minus, plus 222, three-pointers made, 78, and is one of just 11 players averaging 10.5 points in less than 23 minutes per game. Four. Boston Celtics, 25-7, last week, 3 the Celtics, who owned an NBA best 95.8 defensive rating during their 16-game winning streak, rank 18th on that end of the floor since, allowing 107.1 points per 100 possessions. 5. Toronto Raptors, 28, last week, 6 the Raptors, who have quietly won 9 of their last 10 games. Rank third in the NBA with a net rating of plus 8.4. 6. San Antonio Spurs, 2010, last week, 5. The Spurs have, not surprisingly, erred on the side of caution with Collie Leonard, who made his season debut Tuesday, limiting him to 16 and 17 minutes in his first two games back. I'm just happy to be out there, just to play the game and enjoy the things I missed missing shots, losing games making mistakes, just everything, Leonard said. I missed everything on the court. 7. Minnesota Timberwolves, 17-13, last week, 9-20 NBA players have reached the 1,000 minute mark so far this season. Four of those players, Tosh Gibson, Jimmy Butler, Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins, are on the Timberwolves. 8. Indiana Pacers, 17-13, Last week, 8 Paul George said it best when talking about most improved player front-runner Victor Oladipo following his return to Indiana on Wednesday, dubbing the 25-year-old both the face and the future of the franchise. 9. Detroit Pistons, 17-13, last week, 13 Andre Drummond set a career high for assists in a season with 90 during the 2016-17 campaign. 30 games into 2017-18, he has already tallied 114, the fourth highest mark among centers. 10. Portland Trail Blazers, 16-13, last week, 11 The Blazers, who have won three consecutive games after losing five in a row, rank fourth in the NBA with a defensive rating of 101.5. 11. Washington Wizards, 16-14, Last week, 10 Mike Scott, who the Wizards signed to a veterans minimum deal over the summer to help bolster their bench, has played some of the best basketball of his career as of late, averaging 16.2 points, on 69.4% shooting, and 5.2 rebounds in his last five games. 12. Denver Nuggets, 16-13, last week. 12 All eyes were on Denver's front court of Nikola Jokic and Paul Millsap heading into the season, but it's been the backcourt that has turned heads while the two big men have missed time due to injury. Gary Harris and Jamal Murray are the team's two leading scorers this month, combining for 38.4 points per game. 13. Milwaukee Bucks, 15 13, last week, 7 Giannis Antetokounmpo garners the headlines but the impact Chris Middleton has on this team is clear. The sixth-year forward is averaging career highs in points, 
20.3 per game, assists, 4.5, and rebounds, 5.4, and ranks second on the team in a handful of advanced stat categories, including box score plus minus, win shares per 48 minutes and player efficiency rating. 14. New York Knicks, 16-13, last week, 17 if the playoffs started today, the Knicks, who have won four consecutive games, would be the sixth seed in the East. 15. New Orleans Pelicans, 15-15, last week, 14 Drew Holiday, who signed a five-year, $126 million contract over the summer, is posting career highs in points, 18.1 per game, shooting percentage, 48.4, and rebounds, 4.4. He's one of the best two-way players in this league when he's aggressive, teammate DeMarcus Cousins told The Advocate recently. That's the guy we need in order for us to move up to the next level. He's been playing great and he's taken our team to the next level. We are a tough team to beat when he's playing that way. 16. Philadelphia 76ers, 14-14, last week, 15 The 76ers have lost 5 of their last 6 games and play 6 of their 8 remaining December games on the road, including Christmas Day at Madison Square Garden. 17. Oklahoma City Thunder, 14-15, last week, 18 What better way to describe Oklahoma City's season than the past two games? A triple overtime win over Philadelphia on Friday followed by Saturday's loss to the Knicks, who were without Chris Tapps Portsinis and Tim Hardaway Jr. at team. Miami Heat, 15-14, last week, 19 Eric Spolstra passed Pat Riley for the most wins, 455, in Heat history on Saturday, a victory he said was in honor of my mentor and my coach. 19. Utah Jazz 14-16, last week, 16 more bad news on the injury front for the Jazz, as shot-blocking extraordinaire Rudy Gobert is expected to be out until January with another knee injury. You feel sick for the player when something like this happens, especially since he worked so hard to come back, Jazz coach Quinn Snyder said. But Rudy is resilient and has a great approach and he's tough. I was trying to find a silver lining, there isn't one but I guess the fact it wasn't as serious as it could have been is one. 20. Los Angeles Clippers, 11-17, last week, 22 Lou Williams, who's averaging career highs in points, 19.9 per game, assists, 4.9, and 3-point percentage, 39.1, is making a case for his second Sixth Man of the Year award. He leads all bench players in scoring. 21. Brooklyn Nets, 11-18, last week, 21 Jalen Kaffer, who grew frustrated with his lack of playing time in Philadelphia, has only seen the floor once, a 23-minute, 10-point, 4-rebound outing against Toronto on Friday, in six games since being traded to Brooklyn. When asked about the decision to continue to keep Okafor on the bench, Coach Kenny Atkinson said the Nets need to help get him in better condition and integrate him more into the system. 22. Los Angeles Lakers, 10-17, last week, 20 Brandon Ingram recorded two 20-plus point games during his 2016-17 rookie campaign. He already has seven such games this season. 23. Charlotte Hornets, 10-19, last week, 23 Orlando Dwight Howard, is that you? The veteran big man has been reminiscent of his old self lately, averaging 19.8 points, 14.7 rebounds and 2.3 blocks in his past six games. 24. Orlando Magic, 11-20, last week, 24 Jonathan Simmons, an undrafted swingman who showed flashes of brilliance during his two seasons in San Antonio, has taken a massive step forward during his first season in Orlando. He's averaging 19.1 points, 5.6 rebounds and 3.2 assists this month, one of just 12 players with such numbers. 25. Phoenix Suns, 10-21, last week, 26 A fun fact for this not-so-fun team, the Suns have made a three-pointer in every game since March 29, 2004, a 1,089 game streak, 
good for second in NBA history, per basketball reference. 26. Chicago Bulls, 8-20, last week, 30 This five-game winning streak isn't doing the Bulls any draft lottery favors, as they now have the third-worst record in the NBA and are just one half game behind sixth-worst Phoenix. 27. Sacramento Kings, 9-20, last week, 27 Zach Randolph, a 36-year-old, 16-year veteran, leads one of the NBA's youngest teams in scoring, 15.2 points per game, rebounds, 7.0, and ranks second in minutes, 25.9. Makes sense. 28. Dallas Mavericks, 8-22, last week, 25 The Muffs, who fell to San Antonio by two on Saturday after allowing the Spurs to score the game's final 13 points, rang classed in the NBA in the clutch. Defined as the time in which the score is within five points in the final five minutes of regulation or overtime, Dallas has an offensive rating of 82.2 and a defensive rating of 131.8. 29. Memphis Grizzlies, 921, last week. 29 The Grizzlies have the NBA's worst record over the past 15 games, 213, and have a league worst offensive rating, 99 points per 100 possessions, during that span as well. 30. Atlanta Hawks, 623, last week, 28 While Chicago has reeled off five wins in a row, the Hawks have lost four straight and are en route to the second worst season, in terms of winning percentage in franchise history. This week's voters, USA Today Sports Sam Amick, Jeff Zilgent, Michael Singer and Ajnu Harth Coos, Detroit Free Press Vince Ellis, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Matt Velasquez, The Record Steve Popper, Hoops Hypes Hork Sierra and Raul Barrigan.